Hey everybody, it's Brian from Because Why Not, and uh, it's spring time, so you know what that means, brunch, and do we have a treat for you today, so uh, break out your champagne, your orange juice, make some mimosas, and uh, pair it with what we're going to make today, which is a fried chicken, fried ch toast sandwich, it's got bacon, it's got fried egg, fried chicken, French toast, avocado. It's great, you're gonna love it, and it's something new to add to your brunch repertoire. Check it out. We're gonna start out by prepping our chicken thighs for frying. Now we want them to get really crispy, so we're gonna do a double coating here. First you're gonna take your seasoned chicken thigh and dip it in the seasoned flour then dip it into the seasoned egg, and then back into the seasoned flour, making sure you get all of the excess flour off. The next step is to start cooking the bacon. You can't have brunch without bacon, can you? I mean, you can. I would prefer it, but a lot of people would get upset with me if I left it out. So we have three luscious strips of bacon here for you. While your bacon's getting all crispy and nice, go ahead and start frying your chicken. I have one of these cool little electric fryers and I have it set to 375 degrees and you know you can do it in a cast iron skillet or in a pan inside. This is just what I happen to have so this is what I'm using. By the time you put your chicken in the fryer your bacon should be done as mine is. Uh, mine looks pretty crispy and that just happened to be how I like it. So I'm going to take it out and drain it on some paper towels to get all the grease away. You're a speed demon and you're really good at cooking because you've been watching my videos. So while your chicken is still cooking, go ahead and start making your French toast. So I'm using challah bread here, uh, cut into about one inch slices. You can make it skinnier if you like, thinner. This is just what I wanted to use. You could use different bread, like brioche or just plain white bread. I wanted to try to get fancy and use challah bread. So you want to soak this bread on both sides in the egg mixture. And it's probably going to take about 20 seconds, depending on how thick your bread is. So once your bread is done soaking, just let all of the excess egg drip off and set it aside until you're ready to use it. By the time you're done soaking your bread, your chicken should be done. So remove it to a wire rack to cool. While your chicken is cooling, we move on to the next step, which is actually cooking our French toast. So you're going to melt some butter in a pan, and then throw your French toast in. Don't really throw. Place it, because melted butter can be pretty painful if it gets on you, obviously. But what you're going to do here is just let it brown on each side until you think it's brown enough. The bread should be firm and not soggy anymore. And it's going to take a different amount of time depending on how thick your bread is. I'm not just cleaning up in this next step. I'm actually going to use some bacon grease to fry an egg for the top of my sandwich. But I don't need all of this bacon grease. I only need a little bit. So go ahead and just drain a lot of it out with a paper towel. That way you can just throw it in the trash instead of throwing it down the drain. Now that all of the bacon grease is cleared out, we're going to crack an egg into our pan. And it's really at this point that I realized that I probably should have used a different pan and just poured some of that bacon grease in that one. You know, maybe I should have used a pan that didn't have all of these grooves in it. Although it does give the egg a cool shape. I did think it was going to make it hard to flip and keep the egg intact. But as you can see, we have a nicely fried egg which means that we are finally done cooking and can start plating our sandwich. So we start out with the French toast, top it with our fried chicken, then we move on to the bacon, then the fried egg, and then we're going to add some sliced avocado just to, you know, make it a little more rich, a little more indulgent, a little more tasty. Once this is done, go ahead and put your bread either on top or on the side. I did it on the side because I wanted to uh, show you how amazing this looks without its top on. And of course I had to bring it outside so you could all see it under some natural sunlight. 
And of course the clouds moved over for my powdered sugar money shot. Thanks a lot, Sky. I was able, though, to get some light for my oozing yolk cross-section shot, which, I must say, turned out pretty good. Although immediately after I cut that open and split it up, the clouds moved over again, so I had to move back inside and find some good lighting. But as you can see here, it looks delicious, and I honestly can say that it did taste delicious. The spices that were on the chicken went perfectly with the sweetness of the French toast and the creaminess of the avocado and the egg. The crispiness of the bacon was a nice textural contrast, and the powdered sugar on top just really set it all off. If you want, you could add some syrup to this, which I did later on, although I didn't show it, and that actually tasted really good. So this just started out as a crazy idea I had, and it turned out to be a really good brunch sandwich. So I hope you give it a try, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.